Okay, everybody does this. Um, South African movement, there's, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, we've kind of started doing it a little differently the last year or two. We're gonna start him in a full, and we're gonna go ahead and pivot him, preferably to a 90 or a quarter turn. Just because of how this cement works out right here, that's a little bit hard to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of let him get that right foot somewhere comfortable and then go ahead and work into his South African so that that way he can get a little more pivot, toe to toe distance and, and pivot out of the right foot. Go ahead and start from a full. <clears throat> Turn, reset, pivot and throw. Go ahead and stand here without a disc. If we kind of, if we could th think about and mentally kind of think about, it, do a 180. When he starts that South African movement, what we really want to see is this toe loaded and this quad active. We want all his weight right here. Go ahead and get that right foot back there behind you, arms up. If he loads this foot and now he just has to sprint through the left side, that's going to make him a little faster getting through the ring. So go ahead. And also, the other thing with that is as, as he drives this right foot forward, he mentally needs to think, I got to get off my left right now. So go ahead and drive forward, get off your left, and hit the power position. And the faster you can get off the left and hit the power position and get back into double support, the further it's going to go.